What are your intentions with my daughter? I think y'all know what classic question this <laughs> refers to. Meeting parents for the first time. Let's talk about it. All right, so today's conversation should be a fun one. But before we jump into our conversation about our personal experience, think about yours. Let's ponder on your experience. Were you mm -hmm. scared? Were you nervous? Were you keeping it chill? Were think you excited? Were you excited? <laughs> were you excited? But we're going to talk about our situation mm -hmm. and, our, and meeting the family for the first time for us. And okay. I think it's pretty fun for both cases, yeah. her and me. So... What was your first experience? So my first experience meeting your family was very interesting, actually. I mm. was mm. I was excited, but I was also very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I was very nervous because, you know, you come from a small family, mm -hmm. you know, particularly your aunt raised you. Mm -hmm. And so I would see her at all of the basketball games. I would see her come up and support you so much. And I was just like, wow, she really rides for Shane. So <laughs> I don't know, you know, I don't know how she's going to be. Is she going to take a liking to me or not? Because, you know, she seemed like she was very protective of you. And sometimes when moms come off that way, you don't really know what, you know, how they're going to respond right, to you. They're just right. like, oh, you got this girl in my house. And uh -huh. so I was like, oh, Lord. Um, but honestly, it went very, very well. I think once I got to know her outside of just like her showing up to your games and stuff like that and me being my authentic self, mm -hmm. um, and just letting my guard down, having fun, like letting her really get to know me and vice versa. It was organic and it was great. You know, we had a very great relationship. You, so, you know, what's really funny. Uh huh. <laughs> I'll never forget the day you actually met her for the first time. You remember where we were, right? When I first met, like, uh, my very first interaction very with her was in college. Oh, no, no not the very first but when interaction. I first because, met she, her. because we weren't even really. We weren't together. We weren't together. I'm talking no. about when we were boyfriend, girlfriend, and we were. Yeah, well, we were driving we were, to your was, aunt's house. Exactly. Yeah, we were, we dri were driving to your aunt's <laughs> house. And, and what did you say? Right outside of the door before we walked in. I can't remember what I said, but I know I was scared. <laughs> she said, Shane, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was what like, she, what if she doesn't like me? I was me? like, what if she doesn't like me? I know I was sweating <laughs> on the way there. I was definitely sweating. And I was just like, oh, what if she doesn't like me? And like, I, I will never forget that because you you wanted to make such a good first impression. Yeah. And you were so nervous. And like she said. Mom, Pam, she was at every single basketball game, yeah. high school and college. So we met, obviously, in college, if you didn't know that already. Mm -hmm. And pl every single game, she, she was at was every there. single home game and even some of the away games that mm -hmm. she would drive up. So she would already see my Aunt Pam and always yes. rooting for me. So I can understand how it was like, damn, yeah. like she's really riding for him. Like, yeah. And she never came off with like bad body language or right. anything like that. But just seeing the closeness that you all you all had, I was just like, oh, I'm nervous. Like, is she going to think that I'm trying to come in and like interrupt that or whatever? Because yeah. some some parents really do hold their children to, you know, not even in a high regard, because all parents do hold their children to a high regard, mm -hmm. but they have this closeness with them, and right. they sometimes don't want to let their babies grow up uh -huh. and like live their life. And so <laughs> I was like, I don't know. She, <laughs> but then I met her, and I was like, she's so cool, like yeah. she's so nice. And I think what what made it just that much more enjoyable and fun is something happened with us. We were talking about something, and Shane and I when you're together for a long time and this is just our relationship the nature of us we like have some banter back and forth sometimes uh -huh. like and, you know we're not arguing but we're both just like expressing our opinions on yeah. things yeah we're both we're both strong-headed yeah and so <laughs> we were we were talking about something i was like shane be quiet gosh blah 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 that's <laughs> You thinking like an only child right now. Stop thinking just about you, 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 you. <laughs> and your aunt busted out laughing and was like, I like her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was uh, like, Okay, okay, I like her. She's a, a strong woman. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'll I will I'll never forget that, but like even when she took me to the side, like you had gone to the bathroom or something. Mm -hmm. 
And she was like, you know what? She She's a good one. I can just tell. Mm-hmm. Like, she don't really know you too much. I yeah. mean, you guys just met probably an yeah. hour ago. But she came and she was like, you know what, Shane? I like her. She 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 might be able to stick around. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. And here we are. Here we are. Here married we are. now with a Ma- dog. Married. Relocated. From 20 to 30s. I mean, come on, man. We here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. so Aunt Pam had a, uh, a good inclination. Yes, she uh, sure did. She now. Did. <laughs> oh, now. Now what? Because my family is very different from Jane's family. <laughs> it's like you have a smaller, fun, but more reserved family. Uh-huh. And then my side is like huge so many personalities you don't know what you're gonna get Mm -hmm. but you're gonna get all of it what was it like meeting my my parents for the first time Mm, wow well first i met them on two separate occasions so Mm -hmm. the very first person that i met was your mom Mm -hmm. and i think it was 2011 i mean or maybe no 2012 maybe i'm not sure Mm -hmm. and I was nervous. I ain't gonna lie. I was definitely, really? I was definitely a little nervous. Mm-hmm. I mean, we were what, 21, 22? Yeah, we were pretty young. Yeah. yeah so mm-hmm. I'm still just trying to figure out myself. So I'm like, oh man, <laughs> is she gonna like me and, and everything like that. So mm-hmm. I was nervous, but hey, I, I kept it chill. I kept mm-hmm. it chill. I feel like it was a good first impression okay. um, for her and for me and everything went well. Uh, now, when it came to your father, I was definitely <laughs> a little bit more nervous because of the stories that because I tried of to prepare. I, I tried to prepare you beforehand because he can be very colorful. Yes. <laughs> so I was hearing all these stories about your your father, and it was like, yeah, just be prepared, man. He's he he might ask you a thousand questions. He might uh-huh. be all up in your face. I was like, oh, <clears throat> mm-hmm. I, I don't know if I'm ready for this. This is at uh, Sandy. Sandy. Uh, it was at Sandy Point for my brother's right. uh, memorials. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So we're at Sandy Point, and the whole family is going to be there. So it's not like I'm just meeting the father. Yes, I, I'm, I'm you meeting, met everybody. I'm meeting the entire family for the first time. Mm-hmm. But the person that I was nervous about, obviously, because of the stories that I was told, was mm-hmm. the father, and I was worried about that. Glory, not glorious. That classic question: What is your intentions with my daughter? <laughs> and guess what? He never even he, he he was very accepted from the moment that mm-hmm. I came over. He was like, "Hey, what's going on, mm-hmm, man? Mm-hmm. Hugging me and stuff." I was like, "What the heck?" So <laughs> I was that was not what I think the first impression was going to be like. He was hugging me and just like very accepting. Mm-hmm. Not not anything what she had put me all up. I guess like prepare, prepared prepared you yeah, for yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so that was interesting but you know who did grill me though who oh you know who grilled me oh my uncle know. Jeff uncle and Jeff. he's my dad's brother so. yeah so <laughs> the dad's brother uncle Jeff and this is gonna be funny because I'm sure you're gonna see this it might be the first time that you actually even know this story but Uncle Jeff was the one who was grilling me 21 questions. Yeah. What is your intention with my daughter? How long have you known her? Everything that you can think of. Yeah. All these types of questions. And not only that, but the entire family is around. They are like too. Sit, circling around. Or like so it's not around. like I'm just having an interrogation with just one person, which was already intimidating. Mm-hmm. It's the entire family just like circling around like, hmm, yeah, let me let me hear this. Let, yeah. let me hear what he got to say. <laughs> so... <laughs> So that was a little nerve wracking and, and unexpected too because yeah, I wasn't I thought expecting I wasn't, that either. I thought I was in the clear when, when uh, your father came through yeah. and was just like, "Hey, what's going on, man? Yeah, like nice mm-hmm. to meet you," and mm-hmm. dapping me up and just hugs and all that stuff. But it was uh, it was Uncle Jeff who really yeah. set the bar high and was like, "I want to know who you are and right. what your plans are with my niece." <laughs> but then after that, you realize like he is. not he is so like chill right. and like so, laid back, but he also helped raise us. Right. And so, you know, he wants to ensure that whoever is dating me has the best intentions the same way your aunt, you know, yep. she wanted to ensure like, okay, well, you know, let me get to know this girl. I want to make sure that she's a good fit right. for, for you. I will say she really, and Pam didn't really ask me that many questions. Mm. Like I didn't, I didn't get like a full. She wanted to get your feet wet first. Yeah, she I didn't get like, a full blown interrogation yeah. or anything like that. But but it's funny you know. though because we can always remember those first experiences. Mm-hmm. 
so many years ago now yeah and always cherish them mm -hmm. because now mm -hmm. we're here many years later just still together yep. having a great relationship but those first couple of interactions and definitely meeting the parents yeah. for the first time is something that you can always cherish in a long lasting relationship so yep. I thought it would be cool or we thought it would be cool to have this conversation and just talk about it. Mm -hmm. And we want to know, like, what is your, what was your first experience? And were you scared? Were you nervous? Were uh -huh. you keeping it chill? Were you excited? And if you were all of those things, like, just know that being yourself first and foremost will just help smooth things over because then you don't how you you won't be like pretending to be something that you're not. Yeah. And then the parents won't fall in love with this <laughs> Fake. false idea of exactly. who you are or ideal of who you are so just come in and be yourself and if they like you that's great if they don't like you it sucks like no one wants to be in a situation where the parents doesn't like them but at the end of the day at least you're being yourself you're being authentic and sometimes you may not necessarily have the connection yeah. that you're looking for but you'll have the respect they respect you for you know being your authentic genuine self and maybe things will change in the future and that kind of that mm -hmm. jogged my memory. So, mm -hmm. Or not jogged my memory, but this is like a nice little segue. So obviously there's the first reaction or first interaction. Mm -hmm. But over the course of our relationship, did mm -hmm. you feel like you had a good connection with my aunt? Yeah, I feel like I had a great connection with all of your aunts. I mean, specifically your Aunt Pam who right. raised you. Um, I had a great relationship with her. I mean, it was to the point where... I mean, you didn't even have to be around. We could right. hang out and spend time with each other, go get our nails done, this, this, and that. Um, so that was something that I really liked. I was glad that I was able to establish a relationship with her, like outside of just you and I, right. or outside of you. It was like things that we can connect on. And we connected on just shared mutual interest. Mm -hmm. And so that that made it you know, easy. But yeah, and then your your other family, you know, I love your aunts, your siblings, like they're cool. So, I mean, I was very fortunate that I came into a family that was pretty easy to kind of come into. Yeah. I think because your family is a tad bit more reserved and it can kind of go both ways. You never really know. It's, it is a toss of a coin. But I think because your family is a little reserved, but they're very fun at the same time. When I come in with this big like bold personality like you can tell that i come from a big family i think they they really enjoy it I you think know because it's kind of like a, a shake up from yeah what their everyday experience is like um but what about you mm. i think we had a really good relationship mm -hmm. then and even more so now yeah i think like when we got married back in 2019 mm -hmm. it was really beautiful to have intimate conversations with your father and mm -hmm. your mother mm -hmm. walking down this game, just having good conversation about like, man, like we, we really want to build an incredible life together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, having your father walk you down the aisle and pass you off and shake his hand yeah, is a beautiful thing. And I'm so happy that the relationship with your parents have mm -hmm. always been good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, since the early 2010s. Yeah. Wow. So, know, so long you know, ago. for us to blossom year after year mm -hmm. and still continue to be in good graces, you and me with yeah. parents, man, it's it's a beautiful thing. Yes, um, it really is. And yeah. nothing to take for granted. Nothing because, to take for granted. You know, I do understand or we understand that not everybody is not everyone has those relationships. Yep. And sometimes they may long for it and. They don't have it. And so the fact that we do have such great connections and relationships with each other's families is a blessing and is beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the last thing that I wanted to mention was okay. um, a like maybe two years, three years after the initial meeting. Mm -hmm. um, and Pam, she told me straight up, this is going to be the woman you marry. She did say that. She did say that. <laughs> and she was right. Sorry. <laughs> 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 exactly. So, <laughs> and Pam was right, and uh, here we are. Yep. Here so, we, are. we just wanted to have this fun, flowing conversation about that first experience meeting the parents. Mm -hmm. Now, what's your experience? This is Shane. I'm Jen. And this is Humble Beginnings to Winning. Bye, guys. Enjoy the journey.